Shut up. That's the next move. <laughs> this is the move that uh, became infamous in West Coast Swing. Uh, it gets used in um, bar swing, rodeo swing, cowboy swing. Oh, boogie woogie, yes, for sure, a lot in boogie woogie. And um, also in salsa now as well, a lot of moves cross over between all these dances. And modern jive is one of those dances that's able to cross over a lot of moves. So we're gonna teach you this shut up move, how to do it in modern jive style. It's quite an advanced movement. So let's bring Kerry into the picture. Picture, <laughs> she is the picture. Aww. I'm making a friend. Brownie points. Brownie points there. <laughs> so if we think tuck comes into the body, goes over and around. It's a six count move for modern jive as opposed to a basic push break or side pass that are four counts. And what we're going to do, we're going to learn catch, wax off, which would be. Can we do the wax off beginning? Wax off, catch. Yeah. So I want to think born catch. And what Shane is doing, whether it's from a handle position or perhaps from a wrist position, his hand is on the outside of mine. He drops it down toward our belly buttons, then rotates outside. So to his point of view, it's going clockwise or wax off. Yeah, well, because I'm in a swing hand hold, I actually flip the hand under, boom, then over, then it goes to the wrist and down. Um, there's many different ways to do it. Sometimes I like dancing with the girls I get here and I make them stay there and they're like, what? <laughs> it's actually a great uh, connection. And Drill. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, totally. <laughs> it's a lot of fun to do it in dance as well. All right, so, so it's a foot of the footwork. Okay, we'll do the rock step of the push and break. One, two. So you're starting to wax off. Three. He's got the tuck. Four. He's the turn me on four and his right hand goes underneath my arm or armpit. Now, girls, what we're going to do is we're going to press our shoulders down toward our hips. So instead of clamping in and cutting off the circulation, we're actually going to press down as if we're holding ourselves up on the monkey bars. And I'm palm to palm here. Girls, don't fight. When, when I lift the hand up here, so it doesn't look like it's an actual turn. continuing to turn, because I flatten the palm out, you have fingertip to fingertip, so let it veil. Like as if you're combing the back of your head. And the thing about the veil is, he is not going to the right side of your body, no. to the ear, or to the left side of your body, or the ear. He's going straight up your spine line or up your nose, so you know it's not a rotation. Back of the hand on there, I slide down. I don't always do this, but when you're learning it, it's good, because you can use the second hand as connection. All right, so let's, let's do it hand. Yeah. Seven, eight, one, Wax two, on three, Four, sure. five, you notice I've split my weight. Six, I've slid the hand down. I'm now turning my body diagonally, bringing Carrie towards my body or my hip. And then up, and I'm not letting her go any lower. I'm just slightly lunging forward with a bent knee. My knee is facing out to the left, and Kerry is hitting that side of the leg. He's basically giving me a bit of his lap to sit upon. I'm going to do it this direction so you can see that we're going into opposition after the tuck turn. So we're going compression to opposition one, two, to compression three, four, to opposition. Five, so he six. sent me away and veiled, so I'm over my right side. I can either choose, depending on the distance, to come back on my left, go ahead, back on my left and pose. Or, put me back up to four, thank you. Or, I can bring my feet together and pop my front foot. So it kind of depends on where I feel my front is as to which leg I might be yeah. popping and stylish. So for those of you that have maybe already done a rolling, mm. a rolling, see, it's this type of thing, you see? So I don't really need to have a whole lot of bear hugging to protect the girl. He's got it's me slightly facing away and leveraged, and he's just asking me to sit back on a petite little stool, like a bar stool yeah. behind me. Practice the sit, like just get here and say, all right, I want to practice this moving in. And down, if we can turn down. that, I'm keeping my, I don't get all my arm on there, or I could. It's probably a good idea if you're going to do it like really big. But the wrist and the forearm are under my the left and shoulder the blade. So she really shouldn't want to go anywhere. The girl feels there's a stop, she's got to wait. Patience is a big thing in dance. Then I move my body towards Kerry or I move it out of the way. That allows her to go lower and I could take that all the way down. Boom, 
and then up. I'm now, if you do take that all the way down, I'd like to demonstrate that a little bit more because you leverage me. We're going to show the leverage lunge in just a second. Let's talk about the sit where you keep my booty over. So when we're talking about this um, bar stool type mm -hmm. little petite sit, if I'm sitting on his thigh or if he steps and lets me down a little bit lower or if he lets me all the way down to the floor, my booty needs to be that much closer to my foot. So I'm over my own squat, use my thighs, right? That's your power. So buddy. if you can demo it, keep me over my own foot. Yes, yeah, so it's not a lever yet. We'll get to that in a moment. So I can either do a full squat like so, or I can squat and I can extend this leg and have it look ever so slightly different. So that is where my body weight is still over my foot. Yeah. Let's try that facing this direction if we could. Um, so what level do you want to do it? And <laughs> Drop all the way down, we'll do the full right. shut up and go low. And one, two, three, four, oh, five. Wait. I've held because I feel like I've got good distance. Thumb. Pull it, not at the back. Boom. Sit and back up. And that's like it's a carousel more straight up and down, basically. Yeah. yeah, that's a lot of fun. Okay, then we can also adapt it to be I'll a leveraged lead where it would be over my foot. So there is more reliance on the leader here. And the one, two, three, four. I'm staying away. I'm bringing it to my arm and I'm dropping and then I'm up. I didn't do that very well. I, I did it on a different again. foot and he doesn't know that. <laughs> I did it on a different foot. That was my bad. No, no, no. We'll do that again. Okay. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Boom. So what I did, I came forward on my thigh to get a little closer and then create the space when I moved away, which I didn't the first time. I didn't realize she was changing feet. Yes, yeah, so, so follows it's a really great example of the fact that when you do use different feet, either the closest foot toward him or the one further away from him, it actually can change the weight on him. I pressed down with my shoulders and I went onto the inside leg, which gave me a side-on type of lean and lunge, uh, but he wasn't necessarily expecting it, so it gave him a little bit more weight. What we, he was expecting it was me to counterbalance and do contra body. He's got my left shoulder. I can square off away from him, stay in that sit-like position using my right leg, and then he doesn't get as much weight because my body is more square. The moment I start turning this way and using that foot, he's got a little bit more weight. So just know you want to pick your footwork um, with an educated choice so you're not throwing your guy off. Right, so we'll do it one more time from this way. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, See, I'm taking longer. Boom, I took it away that time and then brought it up and she was patient to wait. So they're really good tips you've got to see if we don't get our body in the right place. Then it definitely affects your partner. I would like to just add in there that if they'd like to see that slid longer, oh. they can go into the West Coast Swing stream of Pop lessons yes. and you can see us drop that and slide that because there are different places you can go with it. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, no, that's okay. So just get used to getting connected, how much contact you need with that arm and then slowly work it, slowly move it so you've got that more down, more in. Remember that knee's got to be facing away and then you may have to step in to create the space and then you can go down or go down but you want to make sure this knee is away from the girl. 